everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today is a rather unusual day. Jim had to go to work today. Today is Saturday, but he had to go to work. I sat outside for a while with Mr. Brown, and she was taking dust baths in the garden, of course. And the other hens, they came out, and one of the hens, one of the ones that lays a pretty blue egg, laid an egg in her, in her little house. So I have to check in there for eggs, because sometimes I get eggs in there. And sometimes I get eggs in the regular nesting box. They're not laying as many eggs today, because it is warm outside. It was very nice for me to sit outside and crochet. That was really different, because usually it's so cold you don't even want to be out there. I brought Jake out for a while on a leash, because I don't trust him to not be on a leash when we're in an area that's not fenced in. Well, we were fenced in, but he would have, I don't know what he would have done. I probably, He might have chased a chicken for all I know, and this way I had control of him. I was watching Farmer Mima today, and she had a live, live stream. I love catching her live streams because she talks about a lot of things that are interesting to me. And today she talked about how when you close your eyes, and you, they tell you to visualize a happy place or a beach or something. And when I close my eyes, I see nothing. So I don't know if you, when you close your eyes, if you see anything or not. But there is a name for that. And I wrote it down because I don't want to get it wrong. It's aphantasia is what it's called, where you cannot visualize something in your head. A long time ago, I wanted to have my kitchen remodeled. And Jim says, when I figure it out how I want it, we can do it. Well, if you can't picture it in your head, I cannot picture how it's going to look. I would have to have, I have to actually see a picture of it before I can actually say whether that's how I want it. Because just like my chicken coop, I thought I wanted it in the run. And then I thought, well, maybe I don't want that in the run. Maybe I want the other one in the run. But, you know, it takes four people to move the one that we moved. And then I called my daughter up and I said, never mind, forget it. I, I think I'm, I'm happy now with it in the run. Because now I had another, another chance to think about it and see it visually for real. And I used it for my timeout house for the girls that I needed to put in timeout. And this way they were seen by the other hens. And this way when I opened the door today to let them out, because they're all out of timeout, those three are, they were accepted back into the flock very easily. The little black hen is still in the dog kennel cage. She's still in, in incarcerated, as one of my commenters said, I think is how they said it. Is what I had to say. There's nothing else. Jim is still working, so I'm actually here all by myself doing this video. It's not as much fun, I'll tell you that right now. But I wanted to tell you all hello and have a great evening. And now I'll tell you goodbye. Bye-bye.